Filarial diseases such as river blindness, elephantiasis, and eyeworm are the major debilitating worm infections transmitted by insect vectors to humans across Africa, Asia, and Latin America. Over 150 million people are infected by the three diseases. Among them, 120 million suffer from elephantiasis, and 25 million suffer from river blindness. These diseases cause chronic symptoms and lifelong disabilities, leading to great suffering and social stigmatization of those affected. The itching is, is so bad that he is not able to concentrate on his work. He has to stop whatever he is doing to scratch his skin. Yes, the disease that really impacts on my, on my daily life. In the evenings, I love to read or maybe to do something on my, my personal computer. And when it comes to that, I cannot see. My eyesight is impaired because of these nodules that I have on my skin. I believe, who knows, in four or five years' time, I might end up as a blind man. Oh, wow. Now what? She said it started off as acute attack that attacks her with fever and chills, and the leg starts swelling. And this makes her uh, lie down for about two weeks, after which she had to help herself up with a stick to try to walk a little bit around and then the feet swells and it does not go back. So because of the disease, he has no wife. Whenever he tells his people to look for a wife for him, nobody minds him. For 20 years, the strategy to control filarial diseases directed by the World Health Organization has been based on mass drug administration programs with drug donations such as that of ivermectin. These interventions are designed to reduce the morbidity and the transmission of the worms by treating all members of the population in endemic areas. Despite the success of these programs in reducing the disease's prevalence in many countries, filarial diseases still exist and challenges remain to achieve their elimination. The issue with ivermectin, though, is that it affects only the baby worms, and since the adult worms live for 10 to 14 years and continue the production of new baby worms shortly after ivermectin treatment, transmission is difficult to fully uh, stop, and, and therefore elimination of the disease would take 30 years or longer, as estimates go. To address neglected patients' needs, DNDI aims to develop an oral, safe, and short-course macrofilaricide drug which would kill the adult worms. If we have some uh, 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 medicine that can be developed, that can really curb this thing and not let it come back again, I believe that would be of immense, immense help uh, I mean, to, to the community and to Africa as a whole, as a matter of fact.